G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do star citizen folks and yes hauling and um i've just jumped up to the junior rank and ooh, 27k for delivering shit to samson and sons all right what's it say here uh be big, it won't be bigger than 8 SCU, okay, fair enough. Uh, blah, 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 my mum likes this route. Good for your mum. <laughs> Good God. Uh, someone was hitting the sauce when they were putting this one together. But all right, this one looks a little bit fun. Let's just see what the hell happens, shall we, folks? So we have to pick it up at the BP service station. That's where we are. So that shouldn't be too much, and it's 27,250 for this mission. So here we go. Let's hit the F button. So we've got a couple of um, different size containers here. All right, let's move them all on to the elevator, and that thing can go up. And while that thing's going up, we're going to open the ramp access. So I've just recently... Um, I want to say spawn my ship, but that's probably not right. I recently got my ship in, and as you can see, it's in the nice and proper position, not sideways. But that's okay. Is that thing fucking going down? That's making noises. What the fuck's that noise now? Okay. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that was. So, Ev, what do we want? We want that huge ass multi tractor that's that thing. Oh, max lift, is that what it's called? Huh. So here we go. We got a couple of these things and a few others. What is it? Does it say scrap? It does. Which <laughs> 27k for scrap. Alright, fair enough. Beggars can't be choosers, eh folks? So, anyway, let's whack this one in here. And Actually, I'll put it in the back because I saw the bigger ones. So let's put this in and just put it down nicely. What do you reckon? Somewhere around here? That works. Or maybe here. There you go. So, I won't bore you with the big ones. Or maybe I will bore you with the big ones. I don't know what I want to do. How big are they? So it is scrap. Size 4. Okay. How am I going to package this one up? Do I want to put them all to the front of the ship? Or do I want to put them at the back? Ah, decisions, decisions, folks. Let's have a look. I think I'll probably put these to the to the back. I think that may make sense. Yeah. Okay, so after a bit of time, we're down to the last um, container, which is great. Saved yourselves at least seven minutes of cargo loading, or in other words, watching me going scroll, scroll, scroll on the mouse wheel, and then moving things around, smacking into something. There we go, as you can see, it's all there, and we'll just put it there. So, we're ready to rock and roll, folks. We're going to go to Samson and Sons, which is located on Walla. There you go. I know my way around the verse, <laughs> at least if it's on Wella in Area 18. Sure. Ah, oh, look at that. And we're coming in for a landing here, folks. Now, what I don't know yet is where this cargo pad is. I think I saw something, but I'm not too sure. We'll land, we'll go find, and we'll have a look. Okay, folks? So, is that down? Now it's down. <laughs> and the nose is going down. I'll never get this fucking thing right. Okay, I've killed the engines. Beautiful. Now, oh shit. That's new, that structure to the left. But I also see a crate there. And I'm when I see crates left around, I get concerned. I haven't seen the other player who belongs to that ship. But, okay... So, that looks kind of closed. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Um, do we have to open it? 
to call the elevator? I don't know. I don't trust this place because this place is fucking lawless at times. Let me put this one here. So if someone else comes in with a tractor beam, at least I'll see them and probably kill them by the time they're trying to take shit out of my ship. All right, we'll put that there. Um, let us go back. Should have done this first, actually. So what's this thing? Okay, so this looks like the pad. It doesn't look like the pad's there, but it looks like it's closed. Is this the thing? Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, no, it's fucked. <laughs> Kiss the 27k goodbye plus the rep. Oh, you pack of fucking mongrels. As you can hear by their constant clicking sounds, she ain't fucking doing anything. What would be really nice here, CIG, would be a cancel fucking button. Alright, so I can't do anything, so what I'm going to do is just take all my cargo out, which I've done, and I'm going to place the last thing up on top, well, here. And it fell off. Alright, that one's not mine, let's holster this bloody thing. Shall we just go past, like another 15 minutes has gone past people, maybe something's happened, maybe we're going to get lucky. The graphics work, and it's still fucked. Ah, oh, well, it wouldn't be Star Citizen, would it, if this shit didn't happen? Okay, so we are now going to get ourselves out of here because we can't do anything. But what I'm going to do first, before I fuck off, is I'm just going to do a little flyover just to see if that, like, elevator is the only one or if there's, like, a second one hiding in, in amongst the rubble. I don't think so. But I'm just going to have a look. You never know, folks. I could be lucky. I'll just watch out for the fucking light posts. Uh, nah. Nah. Not at all. I see some other containers nearby, but no. Ah, well. Ev. Ready? Landing gear up, my friend. And let's get the fuck out of here. Punch it. Oh, what a roaring sound that is. Okay, folks, so we need to do a mission to counter this mission, and I'm going to pick this one here. It's 19k. It is a junior run, but it is a pickup from Arc L1 and deliver part of the cargo, which apparently I think it is, um, to Everest Harbor and then the other place above Crusade. So let's do that, shall we? We don't want to track that one. We want to track the other one. So let's track that. Okay. So, we're at Arc L1, folks, and we're going to come here and pick up our cargo. So, we'll come into the hangar. Very nice. Yet, I don't understand why there's all dust and shit coming around. Um, makes no sense graphically, to be honest with you. So, we'll just turn the ship ever so slightly, cautiously, and land at the same time, too. Am I down? Sounds like it. No, it sounds like the door closing. Um, okay, I've killed the engines. Thank you. Okay, so now we have to be very careful here, folks. So I've been loading up the ship, but what I've realized is if you see on the left-hand side of the screen, you've got a different value. So 51 has to go to Ever um, Everest Harbor, and the remaining 43 have to go to the other place. This is where maths comes in, folks, because you actually have to calculate this. So what I'm doing is, if my math's correct, this pile here should be for um, above Crusader. And this other pile here, which I still got two of those big boys here, well, not really big boys, but these ones, should be for Everest Harbor. If the math checks out. It does, because I had to use a calculator, because I'm playing this too late in the evening and my brain's gone to mush at the moment um, but yeah so that's how I'm doing this one again don't have to do it like this but I thought it might make sense because that way you can pick up your load for one place at, on one side and then the rest of the load for the other thing at the other place on the other side of the ship that's where I'm going to with this that's the logic here folks but it's also made me think if we're going more and more into like the trucking style and I'm not a trucker 
but I'm also thinking, are they going to come to a point at time where they're going to start including mass and like balancing like an airplane? I mean, obviously, when you load up a cargo plane, you just don't fill it up to the max and just say, there you go, boys, see you later. You actually have to balance your cargo. You actually have to um, make sure the carrying capacity is enough for the aircraft. I don't know if they're going to go down that path. It would be interesting if they did. I don't want them to, but it would be interesting if they did. So this is now set up. There we go. Three. There we go. Well, good. So, folks, we are now taking off. If I actually call ATC to let me out of here. So turn him around. So yes, you can um, spin this thing around in the hangar. You have to be extremely careful, but you can definitely do it. There's enough room for you to do that. So again, we'll shift him across a little bit. Bit of a strafe there. Landing gears up. And I think I'm on like fucking turbo mode, which is like get ready for quantum travel. Obviously the marker is not in front of me, so I can't quantum out of the um, the hangar. That would be cool, but we'll just punch it anyway. Ah, through the doors like a champion. Didn't blow up. We're all good. So here we go, folks. Everest Harbor. Whoa. Why? Whoa. Why are there red like signs all over the top? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's put the shields up here. What is going on here? Is that a fucking hammerhead? It is a hammerhead. So I'm looking at the um, bottom left hand side of my display here, folks. Nah. It, it can't be. It's in the Amnesty Zone. They can't be doing shit here. What the fuck is going on? Um, I see three targets. Four targets. What is going on? Okay. Calm, boys. We're in the armistice zone. You can't. You can be red, but no bullshit. Okay, so I have to fly up that way. So someone's firing at this one, this guy. I'll just take a little, get my ass in there quickly type of open approach. Holy crap! There's so many ships and stuff here. Oh, hang on. This guy's coming at me, isn't he? On the side, the right hand side. Shit, the cunt's firing at me. He can't, can you do that here? Ah, oh, crap. I did not come for a fucking fight. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, folks, if you ever want to know what Pyro is going to be like, this is pretty much it. Jesus Christ. Shit, I better get in there. Uh, okay, I'm not going to fuck around with this guy. I've got the cargo. I don't want to lose it. I'm going to try, try to get in here eat very quickly and before the fucking door closes. I just hope I don't crash. Oh, thank you very much. Now there's like a little thing of the radio. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, no, I hit the fucking thing. Oh, but I slid in. <laughs> you can't do that. I'm already in. A bit fucked up, but I'm already in. Oh, that was a bit of an excitement, which I was not expecting. Okay, so let's put the landing gear down. And let's kind of um, readjust ourselves here, folks. Holy shit, was not expecting that at all. Um, yeah, so are we down? Now, normally I would cut away and um, have you look at cargo, but the one thing I want to check now is how much damage did I just fucking take? That's going to be an interesting one. Are the doors going to be closing? Come on. Yeah, okay, I think we can say the doors are closing. Let's have a look at the damage. Oh, that didn't do anything. Here we go. Uh, not rep, landing. 490 damage. That's a lot better than what I thought. 
Okay, folks, so after all that stuff, and as you can see, I'm not that good at doing this tractor beam shit, um, we're now getting the last cargo item for Everest Harbor. Now, I believe this is the last one. Hopefully the math checks out. So let's go and see. If it works, I'm going to be very happy then I know how to play this game. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really upset. Um, let's lower that. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, yes, even though it's late in the evening, my time as I'm doing the game, and not the recording time as you guys are watching it. Recording time, play time. But yes, okay, needless to say, that worked. So that means the rest of the shit up here is for the other place. Beautiful. Now... And I've also realized is that these guys are still outside and I got to get the fuck out of here as quick as possible without fucking copying an ass full of, um, well, lasers and bullet holes. So the doors of the hangar are completely opened. I've lined myself up as best as possible. Avoid engaging. Very nice. Thank you. So I'm going to push it to get the fuck out of here. I'm still flying with the shields on. Because I'm not an idiot. Oh shit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Fuck me! Holy crap. Okay, um... Alright, that's as far as I can go. Okay, quantum now. Come on. Charge and charge and charge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Before the shields go down, I want to get the hell out of here. QM1. Alright, we're safe. Woohoo! Okay, so folks, here we go. We're at Sephron Station. That's the name of the bloody thing above Crusader. And we're coming in for a landing. No hostiles. So that was a very nice surprise. So we're going to come in. And again, we're going to do this one a little bit. Yeah, kind of what I'm going to classify as the Hey Ev Normal. Now, I am going to log off after this. But I want to see also what happens if I leave the ship like this. What it's going to do. Did I even land that right? Why is it looking like it's sideways? Okay, I thought that was sideways. Okay, thank you very much. Close it up, Ev. Let's grab the last one out of the ship. I'm not going to bore you all with moving containers back and forth, back and forth. You know how that's done. It's quite mind-numbingly boring, to be very honest with you. But it's also, if you don't want to get shot at, it's also not too bad either. And the payout is not, it's pretty good when it works. Okay, so I'm going to close this thing up here. Is that closing? Yeah, okay, the ramp's going up. And we're going to, I don't want to say deposit or turn in the mission. So put that down there. Yep, green light for everything. Fantastic. I know it was a bit fast, but I'm getting impatient because I'm fucking tired. All right. And where's the message? Hey, yay. Okay, contract complete. So with the previous dud mission, that didn't work. And this one, hopefully I keep the same rep. Now, the fun part. Can I lower the ship? Is it going to let me lower the ship this way? I have no idea. Let's have a look. Now turn around, Ev, quickly. Let's have a look. Okay, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's scratching the paint. But it's going down. This, I don't hear any issues. You have left the channel. Okay. I'm going to have a look at this terminal once this is all done. Just to see if I can call it up again. I don't worry, I'm not going to call it up. But I just want to have a look and see if I can call it up. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, yes, I can retrieve. Okay, so folks, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Unless something else extremely funny happens in the next few moments. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you have a really good day. And if there is something that's going to happen in the next few seconds, you will see about it in the next transition, which may happen in a few seconds. Or not. Maybe. Can't have the suspense is killing me. Okay. Aha! Something happened. Oi! <laughs> Is he walking or not? Is that? No, he's just gliding. 
Oh, that's fucking funny. He, is he even press the elevator button? I don't even think he does. Uh, I'll press it for him. I don't know what he's trying to do. If he's trying to go through a door or not. So obviously you can tell this player has died because this is the um, I come back to life suit he's wearing. Okay, so there you go, mate. Well, he must obviously be a player because... He... Or maybe he's having some issues. Why is he just sitting there fucking looking at the wall? I don't know. Okay, folks. On that, <laughs> on that note, thanks for watching.